Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to create sketching on your step. And of course, I'm going to show you guys how to customize your handrail just like this. So if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Now let's get started. Okay, first we start with the handrail. This is the fourth handrail from here. This is it. This is the default handrail. Okay. So we are going to try to edit this to what I showed you before. All you need to do is select it, go to the settings. And of course, delete this, select this, and then delete. Okay. And then we might have to go here. This is real. Just create one. Add it here. Okay. Now that's fine. Now we this is our baluster, which is what we need. And this we don't need this. So we are going to delete this, select it and delete it. Okay. Now we have successfully added a rail here, and our baluster still remains. But we are also going to change the style of the baluster. All you need to do is select it and go to Baluster settings under baluster settings try to change it to This right here. You can always create yours, but we are going to use what we have in the Archicad So just select this now. That's fine. Now. Let's see what we have in our 3d Very simple straightforward. Okay, we are also going to edit further so that it looks presentable and nice now go back to our setting Okay, now this we are going to try to edit this and go to these settings right here. And as you can see from the 3D, we have this turned on. We are going to turn it off. Just click this. Also, we are going to do the same for the down right there. So now that's fine. So we are also going to increase um, this iron right here, which is the thickness. Okay. 30. You can't see it until you press OK right so that's fine we're also going to change the material let's go and change this to okay override surface so it changes to metal to stainless steel which is what we want so right here we change this dimension this is not thick enough we change it to try to link so that when you change one which is let's say 35 the other one will change also so you can make it 40 if you want and that's fine so we also going to change this one because what we did was this which is why it's showing green here so you just select it and do the same link and say 40 okay try to change the material i think the material is still okay but let's use override so if this was the real okay material there the same thing here. Okay. That's the stuff right here. Okay. So the same thing here. This thing we've used, we've used 40. So we are definitely going to increase this to 50 so it will be bigger than, than it has the essence of linking. When you link it, you change one, the other one will change. So the next thing we are going to change the material override. Okay, stainless steel. Now that's fine. We have successfully done all that. We are also going to adjust this right here, which is the post. Just select it as you can see in our post. So we are going to, it's linked already, and we are going to change it to 50. Okay, and that's fine. Then try to change the material override okay now that's fine of course we are also going to change the end post which is this then just go go ahead and click this post as you can see the post well let's say okay for now you can see what we've done so far let's reduce this and reduce this a bit Uh, 
let's say 45 and this 35 and with this 35 okay now that's fine okay as you can see this is not really lapping properly you can always go and change it edit it this right here just click okay go to the settings it should be from here just change this to to switch it to this let's see what we have it's too much so you go back and should use it a bit i think this is fine so this is how to edit your hand drill okay so we are going to add the end in here okay so just go back to the settings try to reduce this you can see so go back again and add ending to it change into circle and we have this we have this all depends on what you want so let's take this because this is round and remember our thickness is 50 50 okay let's go back to our stainless and we have this okay so this is not looking good let's try to change it you can see this is not the type i want i want something round let's go and check in this okay let's see options we have let's see this okay and we are also going to as you can see it you can't even edit it okay we can't edit it because it came with a certain measurement so we can't even change the height you have to go and change the height from your profile as we have created so this is when you when you create a profile it saves here you understand that's it right there it saves there this is for custom custom ending you have so when you saves here as you can see you can't even edit it because this is custom ending right it, it came with a certain measurement and you can't change it okay so what i usually do i'll just turn it off now okay and i just go to my make life easy go to my um object search for sphere that's it right there in the the 60 send the radius to 60 of course change the material to stainless and that's fine i'll just click here put it here if it's too big you can always reduce it so i put a certain height that's it right there okay so let's go about reducing the since it is 30 the radius sorry okay so i'll try to take it let's increase it a bit to 35 okay so let's use our elevation marker to raise it properly
So as you can see, we have end like this, it's as simple as that. Okay, we can always edit this. You can always edit this by stretching it. All you need to do is click it, select the handrail, and you see edit, stretch. Okay, now that's fine. I think this is not in the right position. You can shift it like so. Okay, so we are definitely going to shift that. Okay, fine. All right. So the next thing we'll do is we are going to start drawing skating. The best tool to use is whaling. Just select your whale, like so. Select any, anyone. Let's use um, this, for instance. Okay, go to the settings. Go down here, segment. Delete this. Delete this. Delete this. Oh, we have nothing. Okay. We are going to add rail. Okay, just add it there. So we check the height. The height is um we are going to use 75. Okay. Good. The height, okay. This is the offset. No, we are going to make it zero. Sorry. Check the height. Of the rail itself use the box this uncheck this make this this is the height 75 this is the width 15 or 25 it depends on the thickness of your um, tiles so we can always change the material to something similar to what we have which is marble marble black then we go ahead and start drawing i think it's not on the street in this remove this remove this let's use this center here start drawing like so we have to be very careful what we are doing just pick the edge it's easier and faster than using slab because you can only use slab for this purpose When you find that your stuff is not straight, hold down your shift. Okay, hold down your shift and make sure you are looking at the angle. It's at 90, it should be at 90. Ninety zero, ninety zero, just like so. Okay, this is where it ends because that's where it actually ends for my interior, I'm not showing sure those places. As you can see, it's, it starts from the bottom, so we can always go and adjust it. 
So we can always see if what we can adjust to get it right. If we are going to adjust the offset by 35 or thereabouts. Okay. You can see the offset is not what we should be adjusting. So you can see because it affects the top, it affects the height only, not the side. So we are going to leave this to zero. And what we are going to do is, we are going back to the dimension to add to it. And that's like the only thing we can do, add to it. And we are going to make it, since it's taking half of it, we are going to make it 150. Okay, so it's taking half, which is from here to here is 75. From down to this, to that is 70. So we can't see what is happening down, or we can see what's happening up, and which is fine by me. As you can see, this is how to draw a skirting on a step. You can see something going on here. We can shift this backward or just try to adjust it manually. Let's try to adjust it manually. We have this right here. Fifty. Okay. Let's try to adjust this manually. 25 5 10 But there's a little space here which we can Just gradually like so. As you can see, adjusting it is giving our job some issue here. I believe this place has an issue before why we were trying to draw it. So we are going to start it. Just give it some number that will make it work. is not working let's see 15. 15 is not working let's see zero zero is working so you get the gist the most important thing is we have a uh, skirting okay working and we can if you're not okay with the thickness we can always adjust the thickness just like we did the other one which is going to be like 30 Okay, so it goes both ways. And all we need to do is take this and shift it inside a bit so it doesn't show outside. Here, yeah, that's fine. So guys, we have successfully drawn a customized handrail and of course, a quick sketching on our step. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.